with the guys welcome to another edition of Ice tutorial in this series of tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to render and model a simple bungalow in Revit architecture please if you haven't subscribed I'd like you to like subscribe and share our videos and channel and if there's anything you want us to improve on like our videos you can leave it in the comment box thank you okay guys let's continue the business of the day which is to model a floor plan by importing a DWG file but before importing a DWG file you have to save it as a DWG file so this is my AutoCAD this is my floor plan the first thing you need to do is to isolate your floor plan go to your file click on it go to save as click on it and in this file name make sure you type in the name you want to save your floor plan as you can see i've already named mine and saved it as very tutorial name and click on save to save and if you need this floor plan you can find it in the description box the next thing to do is to import our floor plan so go to insert click on it as you can see there are different ways of bringing your files into revit so in order to bring in a dwg file you go to import card click on it so this is my floor plan in dwg format so click on it go to colors preserve layers or level or import it i'm choosing millimeter because that was the unit i used in my floor plan and positioning origin to origin place at what level level one and click on open to import your dwg file and this is my dwg file so let me move my dwg file to the center so click on the dwg file and pin it click on move and click on any part of the floor plan to move it this is it this is all about importing a the floor plan in dwg format so after having done that let's place our grid line but before placing our grid line let's pin back our floor plan and the way i'm pinning back my floor plan is to stop it from moving so click on the floor plan go to pin icon click on it so i've pinned back my floor plan so go to architecture click on grid click on pick lines so click on each grid on each grid and this so change this to a continue click on this so after placing our grid lines let's go back to architecture no let's go back to our view to hide our floor plan grid so visibility graphics go to imported categories click on grid and apply okay that is how to place our grid lines so after placing the grid lines the next step is to place our wall so before placing my wall let me measure the thickness of my wall so go to modify click on measure click on this line and this line as you can see the thickness of my wall is 230 millimeter so I'll go go to architecture click on wall click on this as you can see there are different types of wall here but I prefer using the generic 200 click on it go to edit type duplicate it and change this to 230 millimeter click on ok go to edit and change this to to 230 millimeter having done that click on ok and ok so let's start placing our wall my external wall I'm 
me start doing my internal walls. As you can see from my floor plan, it is symmetrical. All I need to do is mirror this part. So before mirroring, go to architecture, click on reference plane, click on this line, this is it. So highlight, click on escape, highlight this part, and click on mirror. After clicking on mirror, click on the reference plane to mirror. So this is how to draw the floor in Revit. So after drawing your walls, the next step is to place your windows and, and doors. So but before we do that, let me show you guys how to edit layers and wall. Go to sort, click on it. These are layers click on this we name it ground level GRD click enter click on yes same thing here Oof. click on it click yes and change this to 3600 the height of the building yes that is all about level so to edit our building as you can see, let's go to 3D, 3D view, click on it. Uh, our walls are above the second level, so let's go back to level 1, which is our ground level. Click on any part of the wall, select all instances visible in view. So after selecting all instances, go to your project browser, go to top constraint click on roof and click apply so going back to our level going back going back to our 3d view click on it as you can see our uh, walls are uh, attached to our uh, roof level so that is all about editing our levels and wall so let's go back to gun level as you can see the floors they are flushed out our windows door and opening so for us to see our doors window and opening in our floor plan go to graphica display options click on wireframe now let's place our windows go to architecture click on window load family load family click on looking go to libraries us metric windows windows i'll be using single click on open the dimensions i'll be using 900 by 1200 this click on ok so let me start placing my windows And this so this is my toilet and place a toilet window so go back to windows click on 610 by 610 go to edit type duplicate the window change this to 600 by 600 millimeter click on ok change this to 600 and this to 600 if you are done click on ok 
click on ok and place so after placing your toilet window let's create an opening here for passage so go to doors go to architecture click on doors load family us metric doors look for door opening this is it click on it click open click open after clicking open go to edit type duplicate edit it but before i edit it let me measure the opening so click on measure So the width, the width of the opening is 1,270. So let me go back to my opening, which is under doors. I did type, duplicate it. So I'll be needing 1,270 by 2,100 millimeter. Click OK. Change this to. The width of the opening 1270 while the height of the opening to be 12100 if you are true click on ok place the opening here so after creating the opening let's place our door click on door after clicking on door click escape test so go to architecture click on doors load family so residential i'll be using the single panel wood click open the dimension 900 by 2100 this click ok so let me start with this click on this Click this and this to change the direction. And this and this. So this pass will successfully place our window doors and opening. So I told you uh, my floor plan is symmetrical. All I need to do in order to place my door window and opening here is to mirror it to mirror this part so highlight this part after highlighting it go to filter because go to filter because i want to i want to mirror only the doors or the doors and window and opening but the opening isn't here so i'll just mirror the door and the opening so let me untick the grids and the wall click on apply and click on ok so go to mirror and click on the reference plane so, so having done that let's go back to our architecture our doors and let's place another opening this place it here okay we've done that that is all about placing doors and opening so let me show you guys the 3d view but before i do that let me change this to realistic so that is all about creating creating doors window and opening in Revit so guys we've come to the end of this edition I'll be uploading the next edition in subsequent days so stay tuned don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notification please subscribe like and share our videos and channel with your friends and drop your comments in the comment box thanks for watching See you next time.